Hello, today I will be showing you how to make a Reese bass, which sounds like this. That was terrible, I'm sorry. That was the wrong, <laughs> the wrong um, Reese. Like that. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make this sound, and I'm gonna show you how to make uh, your own Reese bass. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to make a cool Reese bass. Okay, so this, um, first, uh, synth here. I have, I think it's eight different synths. I'm gonna show you every single one of them. Now I'm gonna stop talking because I know you're uh, starting get to get pissed. You want to see how to make a re space. Uh, it's three oscillators here uh, and some phasing, but uh, for now I'm just gonna show you this first oscillator here. Uh, it sounds like this. It's a sine wave uh, with some distortion here. Uh, and uh, a bit of boost here on the low shelf. Um, it's on band minus, but never mind that. Just uh, see this as a as a sine wave, a fat sine wave. Uh, you can see that it's uh, turned down uh, six cents cents. Yes, uh, this is just to get the phasing effect between the first oscillator and the second oscillator. You can't really tell, but uh, you can hear that it's a difference between this now and now. It's like moving a bit now. Uh, and that's the idea when you're making re -spaces. You want You want it to phase to make it wobble. But as you can hear, these two aren't wobbling too much. Uh, uh, and also, uh, you can see the second oscillator as a, uh, just a fat distortion distorted sound kind of like this modern talking <laughs> modern talking here um, so there's a sine wave and a fat sound here uh, and those together <laughs> sounds cool uh, and this third oscillator it's on this cicada cicutosa sacane sisasa something um, and uh, this by itself sounds like this pretty weird sound but if you face this uh, down here I'm facing uh, this is the third oscillator, and you put it up a bit. It sounds really cool. And with with the uh, this this sine wave and the modern talking kind of oscillator, it sounds like this. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Uh, why I'm calling this modern talking oscillator is because uh, we're gonna initialize the patch, and we're gonna do th pretty much the same thing. Uh, just use different uh, waveforms. Uh, well, not totally different. We're gonna use sine wave. Uh, we need to have some distortion to make it sound good. Dimension expander. Uh, when you're doing re spaces, uh, the size uh, should be pretty high. It sounds uh, good if if it's high. sounds pretty fat uh, and uh, on this one you want to uh, yeah we can use modern talking now put it up one octave so yeah we can keep it like that for now uh, and on this one we can use this uh, as we did before uh, on the other synth and then face it And together with the other two. This sounds terrible. So yeah, that's more like it. <coughs> and now, of course, you can... <laughs> and now... Uh, you can process process this. Uh, you, you can uh, put some distortion, your sign shaper, or yeah, you know, <laughs> to make it sound more fat. Add some feedback and stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's the the main idea. Um, now I'm gonna show you some different ideas. I made uh, a couple of releases here, as you can see, uh, and I'm gonna explain uh, how I made them. 
because there are several ways of making a race pretty much. So yeah, and you need to know them all if you want to do a cool race base. Uh, here, um, the wobble is... Uh, you get the wobble because... <laughs> I can't talk. Just listen to the sound first. Um, this is... Um, I get the wobble because because I have uh, this bandpass filter on, with an LFO on. Uh, and also I, ha I have this sine square wave here, uh, which is uh, the tuned a bit, 6 cents here. Uh, if you have it on 36, that's uh, 3 octaves down, uh, but you put it up 6 cents, so yeah. Um, and... Uh, you can add some facing also if you want to. Also you can make it wobble a bit if you put the facing on. So yeah, mess around with that. Um, yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna show you exactly uh, every detail. Like you can just copy off this if, if you want to, but... Uh, uh, the main idea of this tutorial is just to show you uh, the ideas of making a reese. Yeah. Uh, this third uh, synth <coughs> sounds pretty bad. I don't know why. <coughs> yeah. Uh, I I tried to do uh, the same thing as we did up here. There's one uh, one sine wave here six cents and this so th these two are facing and this is the um, uh, uh, I know that this is someone talking now but this is instead of the Sika Sikida thing here and this is um, uh, the fat sound uh, this is the sine wave and this sounds like this and this modern talking is the thing that makes it wobble <coughs> uh, the reason it it wobbles like this is because it's uh, I brought it down uh, three octaves, uh, and that makes uh, everything wobble. Ooh. So you can take uh, uh, any waveform, and then when you face this, uh so yeah. Um, that's uh, how you do uh, it. Uh, also, you can try to mess around with this. I've done this on the other synths. Uh, if you put this unison on three, uh, what this does is, is that it uh, it uh, makes... Uh, if you have it on one, uh, then there's only three oscillators. If you put it on three, uh, it's going to be three times three. So th uh, it's going to be three of this first oscillator and three of this and three of this. So there's nine oscillators, and you detune this against each other if you turn off the pitch cutoff. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. So it sounds wide and nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, next synth. Here it's also the facing and the uh, unison that makes it wobble. Uh, some distortion and dimension expander as uh, on the other ones, and uh, b boost on the high shelf. Um, okay, so there's only one oscillator here, uh, the sine square, and I'm facing that. Without the facing... Um, and uh, yeah, without this... So yeah, it's the facing and the uh, pitch cutoff that uh, makes it sounds nice. Uh, next one. Uh, oh, I can see I put on some distortion stuff here. Whoa, clipping. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna see what I did here. Uh, scrapyard, if you haven't used this uh, waveform uh, uh, thing, do it. It's really nice for uh, respaces. Yeah, sounds cool. 
Um, only one oscillator on this too. Um, facing also. And uh, this unit something. And the thing that makes this wobble the most, uh, as you can see, th this is down 24 and this is down uh, 36. So uh, uh, these two uh, are not making it wobble. Uh, if you turn off this and this frequency shifter here, you can hear that it's it's not really phasing. Uh, if you would turn this up, you would get the phasing effect. Uh, but yeah, uh, so it's this uh, pitch cutoff that's making it phase, and also this frequency shifter I found is really nice to use. Uh, this is gonna also make it uh, make it phase in a way because you're changing. I it's like a filter. Uh, it's not changing the pitch of the whole sound, but it's changing like um, yeah, a bit of the sound. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, just try messing around with this to uh, to uh, make it wobble. And you can find like nice spots where it uh, s uh, sounds really natural and, and not too fast. I can't seem to find it now, but yeah, uh, it's somewhere there. <laughs> Uh, and some distortion. Uh, I don't think I need to explain this. Um, next sound. Uh, sounds a bit weird. Um, this uh, thing here is a really good uh, thing to use on re basis. It's called a notch filter when you're uh, taking a uh, uh like a, a band here uh, and then just putting it down like that and then moving it around uh, it sounds really cool it sounds like it's uh, the sound is moving uh, and it's really nice to use on this re spaces um, and some distortion maybe it sounds better without it I don't know uh, I actually didn't like the sound, so I don't know if I should explain it too <laughs> too much. Uh, there's no pitch cutoff on this. Uh, it's facing only because of this frequency shifter here. I put a macro on it, so it looks pretty weird. <laughs> yeah, um, nothing special really. Nothing special, okay, on this one. Ooh, that sounds pretty cool. Um, it's wobbling because of the band react and the phasing here, uh, because it's not on 12, it was on 94 I think. Uh, and it's wobbling also because of this uh, pitch cutoff here, and the frequency shifter. So this one uh, contains everything pretty much. Uh, sine wave, saw wave and saw wave. So yeah, um, next one. Hmm. You can really hear the modern talking. I don't like this. I don't like modern talking. Um, yeah, nothing new. Distortion, dimension expander. EQ and uh, yeah, uh, I actually killed the high shelf a bit here <laughs> to make it sound uh, I'm no better. Uh, some feedback. Uh, yeah, I think I'm down. <laughs> I don't know really how to explain this more. Um, it's the same thing as as before. <laughs> This uh, lunacy here is making it wobble, and the also this, and the phasing. So yeah, um, sorry if this tutorial was a bit messy and slow. Uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty long video. But yeah, um, well, <laughs> if it was a long video, it's too late to say anything now, I guess. So yeah, uh, 
Bye. Hope it helped the persons, the people that wanted to see the tutorial. Why do I always have to end my videos weird? <laughs> Bye.